obviously and naturally delighted to be home again. When Lord Louis recently went to Guildhall to receive the freedom of the City of London, he was handed, in token of the uncompleted Sword of Honour, a sword presented to Nelson 150 years ago. His address underlined the superb fighting qualities of the men he led. The freedom of the City of London is by common consent the greatest civic honour in the British Empire. I am deeply appreciative of its bestowal on me today and the sword of honour, which will be my most treasured possession, shall hang above that sword which was surrendered to me by the Japanese Supreme Commander of the Southern Regions, Field Marshal Count Terauchi. At the conclusion of the Japanese surrender, the enemy were in full retreat at sea, on land, and in the air. And 190,000 of them had been killed in the Burma campaign alone. For it was not the atomic bomb that defeated them. The bomb merely gave their emperor the excuse for accepting an unconditional surrender which had become inevitable. The myth of the invincible Japanese had already long been exploded in the Pacific and in Burma. And this had been achieved by the courage, endurance, and the superior fighting skill of the Allied soldiers, sailors, and airmen. Later, with his wife, he received a great ovation on his drive to the mansion house. His speech from the balcony was on the same theme, the men who made up the forces in his command. He certainly had the crowd with him. If there are any of my own friends from Southeast Asia down there in the crowd among you, I'd like you to know you ought to be up here on the balcony with me. Rendezvous 